Folks, what's happening? Got Chris Paul Avis here with NGB, and we got a little something, something happening here from Pismo Beach, California. We live from uh, with uh, Front Row Esports and uh, their Cup Series tonight, folks. And we're doing a little right and left, little Tokyo drift action, as uh, we're gonna have these boys in some pretty heavy, fast, um, super powerful cars here on a nice tight track and we're talking not just a tight track here but the elevations on this thing is going to be insane uh, you're looking at a 20 turn track here folks 3.7 mile let's bring her up and see exactly what we're talking about and what these boys are at tonight again all right folks so you're looking at the elevation of coda and uh circuit of america is we're looking at 3.4 miles track width so not not a lot of play room there seeing a top speed this is at the top speed here at this, at this track is 200 mile per hour, what the, who is in their crazy right, I would do it, uh, max elevation, 133 uh, foot elevation, that's huge, talk about a roller coaster ride in this matter, and uh, let's go ahead and look over our race format, and uh, see what this, what this thing's going to have an offer for us tonight, alright, what are these boys up against, yeah, 30 laps against the uh, treacherous Coda, as uh, we're looking at custom setups tonight for these cup cars, no cautions, you're in stage one at lap 10, stage two, lap 20, and stage three, end of, of course, is end of the race here at uh, lap 30. So one fast repair tonight, uh, to have one car in the hauler, got three sets of tires, I believe, 50% uh, fuel. So you're looking at a fuel strategy between 11 and 13 laps. As boys will have to hit the pits uh, at least once tonight to get her done. All right, here's our point standings right now. You'll see uh, Tyler. Honeycutt still leading our way and um, stepping on down. Big mover listed up there, plus 12. Ronald, man, go go with it, bro. And then, of course, uh, you know, of course, the biggest loser, you'd say. Uh, but you see, here's our points and our formats in its way. So you guys want to look these over, pause this, kind of see where your driver's at. But, uh, yeah, we got a close, tight combat when it comes to these points. And, again, stage the stage uh, style of racing really plays it's a crucial role and factor in this uh, this race of course tonight so getting out front staying out front is what you want um, don't see a lot of opportunities for those stage points um, tonight so really excited to see who's going to be able to get this this so i guess the restart or i'm sorry the start initially is what's going to be because it's just uh this is going to be a no caution um full-on endurance style of run again here so keep her pointed in the right direction, keep her on track. And uh, man, we'll see what we have going on here. So I do think uh, we are about ready to get ourselves into tonight's race. And I'd like to, of course, throw a huge shout out and thanks to our sponsors here, Moza Racing. Um, Got to check out their gear, folks. Great stuff, the Trek Racer, same. Um, awesome to bolt all your gear up to. Touch, uh, w energy drink keep you fired up folks for uh, pretty cost effective and in Amara energy um, Amara uh, paint works there he's uh, keeping his cars looking really nice and pretty and of course a big big huge sponsor shout out to uh, Starlink here of course bringing it to you live from our Bismo Beach uh, estate here uh, right there and uh, we got it looks like we are going into queue all right Or I'm sorry, coming out of queue. I'm sorry, not going into queue. My bad. All right, so I'm just running up and looking for our overall results here and see who finished where. Now, this is going to be crucial. Again, no cautions tonight. And, you know, so what you get a good start here, this is what you want. You want to qualify good, get up here in the in w, You don't have to go through any kind of traffic, um, any, anything like that. So, and we're just looking for our results to pop on up. And, um, yeah, cycling through. I'd like to appreciate everyone for tuning in tonight for tonight's race here. For this 2024 uh, season uh, for Front Row Esports, pretty stoked. Got a lot of great drivers on board. You got a, like a decent field tonight for a cup race. That's the other thing is, too, to look to see 
how many drivers a lot of drivers you know in this oval bracket style of race they don't like them road courses and uh seem to get a little scared of them if you will so you know this is also excellent time and opportunity for these drivers to to show their stuff and uh, and pull up on points here i mean even if you're not the best at it as long as you keep her on track you're gonna you know finish pretty decently i would believe none of that and this track is challenging it is super technical especially with the elevation changes the the um steep climb as you're looking out right now on your screen here into one and this just pinch point right here so you're flying you do have elevation and gravity at your assist here as you're trying to stop this thing and and then you know string her back down but as you go start down right here get folks you're this is a um ele uh, elevation of 133 feet or whatnot and so when you start to hit these these down s's you're not on a lot of power and the car is still has a lot of momentum so the car will break loose and in, in this matter oh here we go as i just be chatting away you go ryan rose in the 58 putting it on p1 nice exactly what he was looking for garrett wiles in the 926 showed us a good showing and uh placed third last night in the truck race so he's sitting second and looking good there tyler honeycutt in the 20 in that third position. Derek Quinn in the 11, fourth position. Kyle Wellman in the 42, fifth position around your top fiver. Carl Lindstrom in the 83, gonna be uh, sitting in that top 10, sixth position. Tom Friedis in the 32, good job Tom. Gonna start to try right there in seventh position here. Uh, Dalton Creech in the 36, eighth position. All right, and, uh, Larry Bell in the 43 in the ninth position. Roland Colette in, uh, rounding out your top 10. With the number 10, so he's got a nice little mirror in his efforts this evening. As we got the 11 of 11 position going to Michael Reeves at the 33, Brody Mears in the seven, and that 12 position 13th going to Jason Bauer in the nine, Justin Elvis in the 54, and um, in the uh, 14th position, Hunter Lagoons is in the uh, 27 car, and he'll be sitting in that 15th position, Jeremy Richmond. Uh, and you see all these guys with uh, no qualifying efforts and times here, marching it down. Chance up, Raymond Hardina in the 87, John Bell, we got Miller in the 6, the uh, 38 of Carl, uh, Jeff Carl, uh, rounding out the back of the caboose here is Philip Molinex in 19. All right, so 22 drivers on track tonight. Decent, decent showings for a road course. And just get you tuning a little late here, folks. NGB, we got Front Row Esports bringing it to you live from Pismo Beach, California. We got, of course, the uh, road course ahead of us here, a little Tokyo Drift style this evening as we're at Coda. Oh, here we go. We are moving. Let's get this, this show on the road. Literally. I mean, this is a, like I said, a pretty tight track as we're looking here. These guys just pacing around, giving it each other plenty of room right here as we're just being ginger, like trying not to get any kind of X's or damage right off the bat uh, with the, any kind of miscues like we see right there, possibly. Um, but uh, it's, uh, yeah, because the last thing you want to do is have it. That's a, that's a horrible feeling, too. Having your car damaged before you even take the green flag. This is an awesome view from that Pismo Run, huh? Love it. Shows the complexity of this track in its hole here. Lots of stuff going on, too, at this track. Got concert venues you see back here, towers and stuff. Love it. Got fans everywhere. Digital fans. Who cares, man? They're still having a good hoot. I want a burger. All right, here we go. Let's fly her in a little bit, shall we? All right. Love me some road course. And this stuff, this is when it gets technical. Yeah, yeah, get the Get the Porsche out of here. He'll, he'll smoke you guys. Make it look bad here. Okay, all right. So here goes. Our long drag race stretch right here to the hill climb on up top of the roller coaster. And then down she goes. Green, green, green. And we go, folks. Green all kinds. Light them up. Oh, here we go.
we go. Big bottleneck right here. Gonna survive it if you just gonna oh no way the 36 is around Donald Peach gets a little booties and everybody else just slowed and slowed and checked up. Here we go for the treacherous down the hill slide right here. Oh the 42 he's going on oh, let's see he got a he got he, he didn't get a piece of that curve he got the whole thing as he went around right there you see it pop oh my goodness Calamity has already started and we ain't even turn one lap yet. Man, cold tires. Everyone just got to get it together right now. Try to set your pace. Oh, man, this is good stuff right here. Love to be getting up these both course races. But I believe we got, oh, another car sideways to 44. Of, uh, of the 54 of Justin Elvis sideways and backward and not going the right direction. Absolutely not. Oh, we got side by side battle for the 20, for the 27 and the 32. Bump it is right there, under attack by the 27. The kids and they're gonna get a, try to get himself a piece. Our right now coming up here. Who's gonna have the cojones? Tom's already looking for the inside and the break, breaking. Oh, he's gonna outbreak. Oh, slides there. Tom taking a trip to the beach. Oh, most. Oh, with Hardina around. Hardina. That was a 360, he's gonna melt some tire up. Oh, they're nice and warm now, bro. You good. Oh, dude, we're still, we're, we are still just a Dyson. We got, oh, he definitely in the beach now. Need some sunscreen? I got some right here. 41 in the beach right there. That's Chance Sap. Still marching forward. Tyler Honeycutt in a 20. I'm just, oh, we're, we're just pointing and shooting right now, folks. And we're just, we're lighting them up. I don't know. Larry Bell, Tom Freitas, we're gonna let him do a lot before I bring the scoreboard up at least. Let all this stuff sort itself out. Kyle, Kyle Wellman, he definitely fell back a bit. That uh, 12th position now. Rolling around, oh! The 10, rolling to let. No! Oh my goodness, this is great. Okay, possible battle for the lead now that we've got all that out the way. Oh, Jesus, that was fantastic. What a start to this race, lots of action. Ryan Rose and Garrett Wiles now look like these guys are gonna try to be the class of the field as they're breaking away from Derek Wynn and Tyler Hunnick, and that's your third and fourth position right there. Hunter Lagoons makes it past. Uh, of course, uh, we saw that, the lockup by the 32, the 54, and it uh, looks like Carl Lindstrom in the 83 gonna be making something happen here as he's in that uh, seventh position right now, holding strong in, in the top 10. Larry Bell, the 43, had himself a decent run last night, some good practice in that big bad truck, and now he's ripping around this thing right now in that 43. Eighth position, Tom now re regaining, didn't quite hit the beach on that run, pretty stoked he didn't, I'm sure of it. But the 32 of Don, uh, Tom Brady's in the uh, Gunny Sergeant Charge Chevy here. Bowtie bandits, if you will. Oh, look, we got a tight little little battle shape up between some good old buddies right here of Raymond Hardina and Kyle Wellman. Hard, Hardina looking for a move on the inside, open door by Kyle Wellman. Kyle Wellman's just looking to get set in his group so we can start marching forward here. As we're here looking possible battle right here between Larry Bell and uh, Tom Ray at the moment here. And Derek Wynn crashed. Uh-oh. Didn't see this one coming. Derek Wynn, he's a road course racer right here. It says he crashed, but it, but he pointed the right direction and still mark, marching in that uh, fourth position at the moment. Hunter maybe closing in and same as Carl. Carl right there. Brody Mears and uh, Tom. Now Tom looking low. Here goes Tom. Duck, move, and dive. Maybe get her to plant, get her to stick. Brody's gonna have the inside loop, but Tom's gonna try to get her to get her to drive on the outside. Dust gets a good arc right there, brings her around. Nice apex right there, gonna have plenty of power out. Yeah, gets her to stick. Now he's gonna bring her around. Yeah, and that's uh, that's all she wrote there. Nice position gain into that seven seven position. Carl Lindstrom six, Brody Beers moving him back. And we have, looks like the 43 gaining some strength here. Kyle Wellman as well. This seems to be the tight knit group right here gonna be charging it up as uh, Wellman seems to be backing up here just a wee bit. I think, no, 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 no. Sorry, I was looking at Creech, that's right, because he went around. Oh man, uh, here's our race leader at the moment, Ryan Rose and Garrett. Those two are just, you know, 
doing themselves nice at a race pace. Here's third and fourth looking good. Fifth, and then here's a nice little battle. Oh, the 32 as we get to it. Uh, like shaping up nicely right here is gonna be Tom, and then it looks like Brody in the seven. Brody appears, got it underneath Tom right there as he had door open. And here comes Kyle Wellman. He's gonna do a little march attack here. Look like he can see if he can take that that position away as we're looking at a now possible battle for the ninth and uh, eighth and ninth positions here. This is gonna be your tightest battle on track at the moment. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yep, make the turn, boys. Make the turn. They do. Okay, yeah, it's right there. We found it. We're good. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. So connections a, a little weak sauce right now for. Tom and uh, and Kyle as as their their nav department is a little slow. Uh, left turn now, right turn now. Here we go. And then right behind them, looks like Larry Bell and Raymond Hardina. Hardina's gaining uh, gaining on some on a little some some on the 43. I'm going to see if this whole pack right here may kind of get together because it looks like a this looks like an awesome party. I like it. Brody Mears, Tom, Kyle, Larry Bell, and Raymond all right here and under a, just a minute screw up is what it is. And you're going to leave yourself lots of positions. Now up here, we'll start with uh, Carl. Here we go. Yeah. Grab a gander on Carl's bumper. I'll see why not. Up a little slip. That's that's, a, that, that's what he got going on right now. Um, and then of course Hunter. Oh, he right there. He tried, he may be gaining on Hunter right now. Hunter could be in an in attack or being attacked here. Just a moment. Derek said that he may have some kind of off trackers. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Wait a minute! Oh my goodness! What is this battle happening? Kyle, Kyle, Wellman, and Tom. Now Tom, he's, he, he, he may have got the worst end of it right here as he's falling back. Kyle right there now, Brody. So Kyle marching forward. Brody may be trying to hold him off. Oh no, we're back up to Carl. So this is this group right here. And Raymond Hardina, he, he, he bringing it around. Oh, yeah, we got nice. This is gonna be an awesome battle for the state, more or less inside the top 10. I like this. This is good, 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 good. And we're coming up, of course, to stage one and at lap 10 but there's no caution so these guys who get up here and the higher they get up and they stay there the more points they going to be accumulating through this race so it's very very important they they hold on to what they got is what i'm talking about looks like we got a record by uh dalton Reese. let's see i believe he is he is out yes friends uh, that's normally what that means. Okay, so this is just a fun battle right here. Sorry, folks. We're going to go back to the 7th. Okay, let's go 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th right here with Raven Arnia just outside that top dinner. He, he digging for it, though. He digging. He's going to get some. He's going to get some. Like, I want to check in on the leaders, but, you know, as soon as I do that, right, something's going to happen between this group right here like we're happening right now oh Wellman on the outside taking a pass away from Brody Mears Brody Mears falling back and here comes Tom right now Tom's coming back all right this is like this is awesome literally this is the roller coaster in itself folks you know because we're just going back and forth we're here nice volley between these guys I, I appreciate this style of run and race absolutely but let's go and check in on our race leaders, shall we? Oh, yeah, we should. Because they're starting to close in just a wee bit. Garrett, now he's got you. Oh, he see him. Oh, he see him all the time. That front windshield be of old. This guy is digging right now. He's seen. He's digging. No mistake. No mistake. Take a ride with Garrett right now. He's probably going to last night. See him. See him a different in that truck. Ripley Nasty kind of coming up. I feel it. I feel it. I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
Dazzy. There it is. See, he, he's pulling right here, so it, it's still a little early to tell who's faster where's, but that's your battle right now. Let's talk about Honeycutt and Derek Wynn. So these guys got their own little dog fight happening right now as well. But okay, he's got off his little little man's head, but here comes Carl. He's like, wait a minute. I'm tired of being by here by myself. All right, let's go find myself a little dance partner. He he, he gonna tackle with the kid here. All right, all right, good luck. Good luck to you, Carl, on that one. Got a little young whipper snap on there, so you know. Oh, here we go, drag race. It's a pinch point, break seconds. You see Carl, kind of, or see Kyle Wellman kind of got a, away from this, 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 this tornado little mess action, but the 32 and 54 have themselves all kinds of fun right now. As they just don't want it back and forth. Oh, and, and, and while doing this, it's slowing them both down, trying to keep these things going in the right direction. And here comes the 43 and the 87 in this mix. I don't know if you want all these cars playing in the, you know, on the same section of track here at the same time. But it's gonna happen, and it is, look at this, it's beautiful right here. Are we road coursing or are we just, it's over racing, because there's a lot of side by each between this run right now. I'm appreciating all this. Heck yeah, Tom. Did we let him have it? Oh, we looking for the crossover, the D4, look at him! Woo, that was smooth. Knowing that Tom's gonna drive that in, he he cross-checked him underneath there, Tom, had to, he pushed hard coming out of there. Oh, it's contact, 43! Oh, Robin Racing right there is the best thing about having a stock car out here on this track. If you get to bump and bang, it's okay. We're all good. You gonna scratch me up a little bit? That's all. Oh my goodness, that was great. Awesome battle right here. As you can see, Bernie Mears now checking it out. He's like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh man, I look like we got 43 Larry Bell. All kinds sideways, you know, shakings and stuff. And I don't know the contact for the 87. 87 been following. Trying to follow patiently around 43, looking for his way around, maybe, but they're both running some pretty good speeds. Now they're gonna have to contest with the 32. 32 backing up right here. As oh man, pushing hard out of the turn here, not getting the car to set as he needs it to to really lay back in to some some power and some throttle. But this, this is where your fight is at, folks. And this is for the 10th spot. More or less. Tom's in that ninth in the battle for the 10th continues as you know 25 laps left remaining in tonight's race here wait that means we're going on five laps holy but jesus uh, yeah it's gonna be a long one but, i mean it's not really but it will you know what I'm saying? It's, it's some long laps 3.3 mile or 3.2 mile yeah i guess a little long well like so two and something change on the uh on the fast lap, like 216, 217. All right, so we're moving forward right now. Derek Wynn in the 11, Tyler Honeycutt. These guys, this battle's starting to, to creep up with a little more intensity here. Carl still running himself at a good pace here at that sixth position. Same thing with Hunter, re remaining uh, in that fifth position and having that top five locked down. Good run by these guys, but again, looking to see what's bouncing. Ryan Rose leading the way. Sorry, my man. Rose in the 58, large and in charge. Man, put this joker on pole and been here ever since. Okay. But Garrett is, he's, he, he's right there. Right there with them sitting on his bumper, needs that, that 58 to make himself a little bit of peace and stay. Is what, is what Garrett is. We got, we got plenty of time to do so. So if I was Garrett, I'd be thinking, I'd be kind of just, you know, sitting back, letting him do that right there. Pop some smoke. And that's gonna him, slow him up. You're gonna look for it. Oh, we got a battle happening. Michael Reeves and Roland Collette. Roland, he found himself some, uh, some beach time, if I remember correctly, early in the race. And uh, looked like he got his sunscreen on. He marching back forward again. I'm gonna check back on. All right. Next car going a lap down those. So possibly give that 19 to Philip Molinex says you see, well, we already have one or two car lap down right now. So let's see if this 
may start to, oh, here we go. Battle heating up right now as we, we got a lot of action on track. Outside, 11, or outside, inside, whatever. Side by side as these guys navigated through tight S and pinch here at, at turn 20, looking for that straight away. Oh, not turn 20, sorry, we're a little, we're a little pre, so I'm saying, right when you think you're coming to that straightaway, you ain't, you got a nice little bonus section right here. As these guys come ripping through here, 17, 18, 19. Oh man, so that, that got tight. He, he stretched it back out just a little bit. See, so Tom's made it away. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! What do we have here? Ladies and gentlemen, hold on. We got some crazy stuff happening. Now Hardina finally gets past. He does a two for one back here in this, in this. And then gets on it. Two, oh, he just gets on it too hard. Oh, and then gets a push sideways by the 43. Oh my goodness. What uh wow. He finally gets himself past him. And these two were taking on. Now Larry Bell's putting himself in a ninth position. Woo! These guys have all kinds of fun back here, maybe a little too much. We gotta get back up to the race leader, check out, see what's up. Oh man, let's we go back live again, sorry. Sorry. Before we messed that up. Yeah. All right, so yeah, these guys still duking it out. Wynn and Honeycutt still striking distance to each other. I think Lagoons is catching up just a wee bit. Same thing with Carl. They're both right there. Got the 42. He tripped it back just, just a little bit. Same thing with Tom. But this could good shape up to be a battle here later on because we still have pit stops. And those are coming up here pretty quick, I believe. Larry Bell and now Brody. So the, this was like the nice little little tango right here. Looks like it's going to be Miller and Hardina. Because Hardina is going to be looking for a, a, another run back forward again. <laughs> and uh, Roland Curlet. Roland Curlet. Uh, he's, he's doing a good job, actually. He, he had some, he had some you know, good time in the sand. I think, and uh, now he, he's still trying to march back forward and get everything he can out of her. So this is just a straight on uh, cannonball run, folks. We're not stopping for the stages. We ain't stopped for nothing. Only thing we stopped for is that check flag at the end. Kyle Wellman making his way around. A lot car right there. It's Jeff Carl, I think. Let's see, I'm with Garrett here. Garrett's fell off just a little bit. Ryan Rose still marching away. Now marching away. Tyler Honeycutt and uh, Derek, those guys seem to have fallen off just a little bit of each other. And then Hunter making his way. Uh, along with Carl Lindstrom. Carl doing doing awesome with sixth, yeah. Seventh, Kyle Wellman. He's had himself a fun race. All kinds of battle. Just a bunch of nar nar. Oh, here we go. Larry Bell. Oh, that's slap traffic right there. Uh, I don't know who that was. But he's in the Oh, we got oh, we got some tire. We got we got we got uh, pit stops are already happening here. Looks like Brody is out. Hardina is out. So those are the first two. So let's see if they got any kind of if this can help them out with any kind of advantage here on time on track, of course. I'm trying to remember what. Oh, so we're looking at. Labrador, oh, it's Jason Bauer in the nine. He's in 14th position. Heck yeah. Good job, Jason. 
So this is coming out of pits here. 54, cold tire for seven or whatever. So we got some guys who, who uh, look like did an early stop, showing some strategies happening. Maybe they do a little hot scotch on the uh, on the field, possibly. I'm not sure. But that's far. Fifty-eight, Ryan, man, he just he just just doing his thing. Thinking stops coming for the race leaders. Here in just a minute. We're a halfway point, more or less. And I'm really curious to see what our tire wear is going to be about as well. So I I remind myself to talk to some of the drivers afterwards and see what their tire wear was. And if it, you know, it was something critical, <laughs> something they could have skipped and just flashed and go and saved some time. You know, but I don't know the way these cars move, how heavy they are. I can only imagine if it's a good tire wear on these things. We'll search through our field right now, folks. This team things seem to have been have simmered down just a few minutes. Outside, it's Philip. He was got plenty of room to race. Awesome driving right there. Very respectful. Off place, off pace, but, but let him run. Ooh, 32 with the push. Same thing with the 43. And a little little beach run um, slash park action for the 19 as Philip off track. See that right there in the background. Let's see, uh, if you were to... there he goes. Getting her spun back around. Back in All right, so I do believe this is our tightest battle at the moment, but oh we. Oh my goodness, we just we just missed out here, folks. We Past the lead. Looking at Ryan Rose right now. Looking at our race leader. So did we get. This stop could have happened while we were messing around. Right now, Garrett's our race leader. Oh, yeah, 22 seconds. So we're looking at a, at a pit strategy here. So Garrett's going to stay out. That, that history real quick. Let's see if we can look over our pit analogies and figure out who's what, you know? Right now, Garrett is shown as your race leader, but let's look back in on a 58. Uh-oh, we got a 27 off track as well. Some pit strategies happening. Jason Bauer, he's in. All right, just searching through. Oh, there we go, Carl. He's coming in. And, okay, so Garrett is pitting. And that should stabilize our field here as everything comes back around, yeah. Yeah, here comes Rose. And we know that battle was pretty tight. Garrett's in, okay, yep, so here we go. Here comes Garrett out. 
Ryan Rose gonna take that lead back right here. Derek Wynn is either in. Yeah, he's in. And, and not uh, same thing with Tyler. He's in as well. Carl's out. I believe. Yeah, yes, yeah. So he's rocking and rolling. And let's see what he can do on uh, his time and see where they all end up, more or less. So cycling through after our only stop for tonight. So this is the money stop, no matter what. Very, unless you, you junk this thing, which is possible. But then you got a car in the hauler, so you should be still be all right. So basically, just keep battling. All right, here comes the 10. Now in 10th position, so we'll see how this cycles back around. Again, he, he went off track early and now bringing her back. I like this. Ryan Rose leading the way with Garrett, Garrett Wiles in the 926 right behind him. And now it's going to be a. Oh, now we have uh, Carl in third, but let's see where this rounds out as we do have Derek and Tyler. pitch strategies and calls here same thing i think tom is as well so uh, yeah i'm very curious how this how uh who took you know what if you you did just a, a, a splash and go but you think your tires were good that's huge you're gonna skip a, you're gonna skip a lot of time on track right there with the rest of these guys and especially if your lap times don't fall off it's beautiful you can't gain one win baby everyone back out here on the lead lap or I'm sorry out of pits with their strategies done letting her letting her rip dude. and let letting her eat for everything she's got 58 seems to be doing all that so let's uh yeah. do it through the field if you will Derek Wynn had uh, some, a little bit of challenges in the beginning, I think, but he's doing all right. Third position right now. Podium's looking at it. Yeah, and you're, you're looking at uh, the 20 uh, car of Tyler Honeycutt in the fourth position, followed by Carl Lindstrom now in the top five, not fifth position here. Kyle Wellman had himself all kinds of fun in the beginning of this thing, hopping some curb and whatnot. Yeah, definitely going in the wrong direction to, to not find himself inside the top 10, respectively, in that sixth position. And here comes Larry Bell, I believe, uh, coming in for his pit stop for this evening. Let's see where that rounds him out. Here comes Brody, Mears, Brigham Hardina. Looks like, oh, that was Tom in. Hold on. There we got, uh... Sorry, it's going up. How you doing up there in the booth, Charles? I was just looking at you parked in the, uh, where you're not supposed to be. You can't park there, man. You know, I, <laughs> I, I, I missed pit road because I never practiced it all week and ran up in I was trying to coast as long as I could to not have a five minute tow instead of five minutes. Gotcha. Yeah. So you gotta oh, nail it. Yeah, you, you gotta nail it. You got pit strategies and everything else. It's like we got, we had ourselves an awesome battle. You guys had a, had a great Duke of Mouth match there for a minute, but we were looking at Larry Bell, Michael Rees. I thought those guys were no. All right, let's get rid of this since we got some racing follow up on. 
Joel, so you, so you missed your, your last pit there, Tom. Yeah. Or your only pit. Yeah. My foul them to pit again for fuel. I can make it again. Yeah, I can't miss it the next time. I'm really be upset. But I did get state points. So. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're, so, you, so everyone has two stops they got to make tonight, not just one. Yes, that's correct. Uh, yeah, correct. see if I just do some math, it would be all right. Uh, uh, so uh, that's that's good, you know. Yeah. So you're just, are you back out on track, or are you not? Uh, yeah, we are. We just left our pit stop. Yeah. Oh shoot. All right. Yeah. Let's see, so yep. a little bit of an endurance run up here. That was some good battling you guys had. I was a blast. I was yeah. having a good old time. Oh, that was no bell. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, bell. Let's see what you got. What happened? And I think it sounds like uh, Tom may have just jumped or come out of the pants. So. No, I saved it. Cold tires. Just got. Yeah, just, just a little, little, little spin out for you there. A little, little off road. Yeah. Right. These things are full wheel drive, right? No, 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 not this bottom. Huh? Oh, oh. No, this oh. is go oh. bottom. Oh. Yeah, we're trying to go places. Oh. Number 43, Larry Bell. Yeah, he did himself a nice donut there. Victory, but uh, a, little, a little early for it. Ryan Rose still marching and making his way through, along with Jared Wilds, and up one and two. Derek Wynn, third, holding strong, and then Tyler Honeycutt. So it seems strategies have played their role at the moment. And let's see. Who's going to be able to gain? Ooh, we got a nice cluster, you know, bump right there. Look at that. I like that. Kevin Ardina. Brody. Dixon Miller. And then it looks like uh, Roland Collette. So this is their, gonna be their new fight, it looks like, folks. Back of this little battle, let's see if he's gonna be able to get her done. Just a wee bit, but it's all about them check up and breaking points. Some guys can really gain a lot, and some guys can lose a lot as well. Well, it seems similar. Ooh, the 10 underneath. Battle right here, side by side. 10. Hooking the right. Keeping her pin tight. Go back left. Oh, oh! Flipping some, uh, flipping some curve there. Gotta be careful. <laughs> Especially when that's when they, uh, they're trying to put some power down. All right, so we'll see. Cal seems to be escaping this, this madness. And Carl as well, Tyler Honeycutt. sticking right there. Now, this is going to be a question. Now that you've seen your tire wear, could there be a, you know, if you did change tire or whatnot, or even if you didn't, doesn't matter. You're still going to see your tire wear. You see where you're at. You know, could there's, there be audible call? There's definitely going to be drivers taking tires and drivers not taking tires. For sure. Yeah. Because, again, if it's only 50% fuel tonight, so it's, you know, you can take half a tank of fuel and seven seconds, it takes 14 seconds to change your tire. That's five, six seconds you can gain on someone on track, so. Wait, why has that not been updated yet? Why are we not in the nine and 10 second ranges on our pits? I don't know. I don't know. Well, we're not Formula One. Hey, Cubs been knocking it out in nine, 10 seconds. I don't know about you, <laughs> but that, that's their average nowadays. Man. These guys, this guy's got fire out of what there is. But uh, right now, we got the 58 still leading the way here, Garrett Wiles. Uh, and in, in tow and in chase. Derek Gwynn, that third, but ooh, possible. Oh, no, I thought that was going to be a battle. That's just a uh, flapper downer car. Uh, not the 20, but it said the 20. Who was that master man? Uh, he is um, it's Jeff Carl, I believe. The number. Oh. There's the Tony Stewart paint, the 
Home Depot paint. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, he th is it 38 or is it a 20? I, I didn't see it. Oh, I don't know. Home Depot paint. No, we got Jeff Carl because he ain't showing me nothing. Okay, this is a 38. It's the election. No more confusing me. <laughs> uh oh. We got, we got more stuff getting thrown down on track right now. Between, and it looks like the 54 and the 10. Oh, 10 got his nose chopped off right there. He had a blow. Seven and Brody here, whatever. So Brody right there. He, you know, fun. he messaged me today saying he finally got it fixed. I guess he did. Uh, yeah, no, he's seven here in our boat now. But 54 is hard. Quite yet, no, we still have nether pits and strategies, maybe something we can do to hopscotch and just a little bit um, at the end of this thing. No tires, flash of fuel, something. But again, now we're looking at our tire where we're saying, oh, my tire good, good, I can do this last time. Or maybe run it down a little bit, run this thing to empty like Tom did, just to make sure you make a little bit of your pit <laughs> entry. Yeah. That way you can you have the fewer last stuff at the end of it. Get the most of your tires and make it. Because the big thing is here, it takes two to three laps to get heat from tires here on a road course in these cars. Yeah. So to get back up to speed, so I mean, is it really worth at the end of the race, two or three laps, cold tires? Or just come out when the warm, you're already up to speed, you're not losing much time. So, yeah, yeah, it's lots that, of different strategies. And balance points. Get, 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 yep. get back to driving, Tom. <laughs> I'm trying. Yep. So, still looking for our next battle here. So that one just kind of fell apart. Here comes Larry Bell. And then Jason Bauer now in that 12th position, so moving on up. All right, right now, let's, 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 let's have a look at our biggest mover at the moment. Here's a Raymond Ardina, in I-87. 10 spots up, look good, bro. And again, that's some hellacious dog fighting going on between these guys at the beginning and beginning their parts of this race. Awesome, awesome stuff right out there. You missed it. Make sure you wind it back. <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, Ardina now. Biggest mover. Continuing on. Good job, bud. Thirteen laps left remaining. See, I, I was I was really focusing tonight, folks, on not seeing the lap size. So kind of like, yeah, right. You know, then all of a sudden we'll look up, we're like, hey! All right, we're almost at the end of stage two, by the way. Again, no cautions for tonight. Uh, this, is, this is all endurance, baby. How much can you take here? All right, and go fast. Okay, that's exactly I was done by lap four. Yeah, right? All right, all right. But right now, I mean, yeah, so it's, it's the race pace, and yeah, we're looking at Derek Glenn, and oh, man, wait a minute. Got ourselves a little bit of a cluster. You know what happening. Between Ryan Rose and Garrett with some lap traffic right now. Making the way by 54, jumps on out the way. And 
leader just come ripping around right now. Might have stalled up Ryan just a little bit, but I don't really think so. I think they're, they're still pretty good. That's, that's, that's what Garrett needs, so he needs to just keep running his race and hitting his groove and his bars. And just keep close to him a little bit here. And not at the end, he can really throw everything he has left at her. And who knows? Maybe if, like you said, he stays this close to him, time on track. If he nails his pit strategy on pit road, off pit road, he, all he needs is, is a couple hundred feet, folks. And now he has control of the race lead and pace. Now he's not chasing. So that's your battle right there. Third and fourth. A little fur apart. Here comes Carl into the picture. Top fiver rounding her out. And then we see, uh, yeah, Kyle Lovin. Go on, get some, bro. Run. And then where's that Todd Harding at? Oh, he's back here. Good company. With the 10. Oh, battle. Battle shaking it up, baby. This is going to be for that 7th, 8th position. Oh, he just, he, just, he just keep rolling is what he's doing. He's rolling. Battle shaping up for her. Oh, I'm excited to see it here. It don't stop. Believing? It don't stop. No, the car don't stop you get right. Stop's better when you have to. Start with Raymond Hardina on this. We gotta re we gotta replay this one. Raymond just letting her eat. Come find now. Oh, right? Did it really get a word slower up, dude? You got we gotta stop sometime. He said, "Oh, smoke show!" And then oh, we're playing in the beach. 
Oh, nice little left tap around. Spins his competition. That just happened by accident. So they both came in super hot. So let's, uh, let's, now let's look at, at, uh, at Roland's, Roland's deal on this one. As we were, we were riding on board with him. That was awesome. But he, he just followed right in suit. I'm hauling it. You're not getting away from me. No. And then he realized, oh shit. Oh, oh, oh. Dang it. Oh, a little, little bit of that uh, left front damage too might hurt him. But, uh, that was awesome. Oh, that was that was a hefty battle that ended abruptly and uh, to, you know, sadly there. Oh, Garrett leading the way now. What happened? See, we 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 screw up just just just, just not. We lose track of what's happening around here. Okay, so it looks like pit strategy and your final pit strategy will be happening right now. So Garrett leading this way. Maybe he's looking for that that leapfrog right here. Inside the 10. Ooh, and stage win too. So Garrett gets a stage win. Lap 10. So he's, this is in the stage two. Now this is gonna be stage three. And actually, maybe, maybe talking about it like that kind of made it sound kind of long. Huh? Uh, a little bit, right? Like, what, 10 to go? We're to stage three, huh? Oh, you're good, you're good, you're good. Okay, right now, so, Garrett's shown leading the way. We're looking at Ryan Rose, and I believe it's uh, obviously pit strategies to be had here, as Garrett still needs to come on with Where this is going to stretch him out at. Again, pit strategies. So we do have now the 1960. You did get the points. Let's see if there's a strategy call here. Taking tires. All right, tires right there. Tires, tires. They don't look like they're taking. Yep. All right. That's. I said, very curious to see how this is gonna unfold. Here, folks. Right now, Garrett's looking, looking cool. He's looking good, right? Got our lead, but then, again, you're looking at. Ooh, 19. A little, little landscaper. Now beach run, maybe. How do you want to make sure you hit them all? That's all. Yeah, you know, he's, he's making sure he's just got just playing. Doing a really good job right there, keeping a clean awareness of him. So, 
what he's doing here is he's, he's demonstrating he's off pace, you know, whatever. But he's running a, a clean race, and he's keeping complete attention and awareness around him, which is exactly what you need to do. You know, when the leaders are coming up, you're not just running up there and you see anything or anything around it. As we have ooh, Rose going right the looks like the down. Alright, so now it's circled back around to Ryan Rose leading in Garrett Wilds. Got an IG6 in that second position, but we got Derek Quinn. He's going to be your third placer. Uh, there's a 32's in as well. Looks like he's missing a little something. Derek Wynn, splash and go, baby. He's looking for some strategy right here. Yeah. All right, let's see where this puts him. Love that game. So right now we're looking at Carl Lynch from Derek Wynn. This is third and fourth positions right here. Top three. And um, I know we still have, I think, some more strategy. Still left, left yet to be ascertained, but ah, as I say that, here comes Roland in that now, seventh position. And see how this uh, continues his march, I believe. Keep rolling! Derek Wynn, yeah, okay, so this is your, that's a consistent battle right here. This is gonna be for podium. If he can track down the 11 of win, be a good impressive feat for for Lindstrom at the moment. Ah! And of course, you know, I gotta stick with it. You know, I gotta stick with it. at least get some traditions going on around here. But need to give a huge shout out to the Lindstrom family. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Every time he says you guys always, I don't. I don't have any chats up, so I you know, I have a lot going on, and I you know really want to stay focused on the task at hand here. Uh, but yeah, always stoked to hear that you guys are, are, are enter entertained and enjoying the show. And it uh, looks like Carl's out there doing your right inside the top five right now in that fourth position. So I want to give you guys a quick shout out there. And since we're doing some shout outs, you know, go ahead and you know send you up on some sponsors, of course. Checking on our race leader first, of course. And uh, yeah, he's doing all good. Garrett right there on his three. What's on a six? Nice, got a lot. Of, just a little bit more. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. Battle happening right here between. Oh, here it is, the 87 and the 10. So before we get to that, yeah, check that here. We got ourselves a little bit about half marker. Oh, you got a thrower in there right now. Get her stopped. Now watch this cross everybody. He's having. Oh, and it's sideways. He goes. And 10 gets. You know, I'm talking about a nice little drifter. Yeah, he, he, yeah you've been watching. Now, which one you've been watching? Which Fast and the Furious? All right. That looked like Fast and Five, I think. Something like that. And now he's going to have to. Get on up there again, chase him down. Oh, so frustrating for drivers, but lots of fun for us to watch. Coming on some lap traffic here, the 87. See how uh, patient or so he will handle this matter. Knowing that he does have the 10, who's obviously pretty quick. And Ardina's not making it easy to get around him. See Ardina clears right there. Let's 
checking out our race leader. Make sure we're good here. Yes, Derek. Derek. And Carl. With Tyler Honeycutt. That's right, not your top five. Honeycutt to 20. Coming into five laps left remaining in tonight's race here, folks. This one did pretty, go down pretty quick, pretty fast, huh? All right. But, if, but yes, of course, a huge shout out to Moza Racing uh, for discounts below and all these products. Check the, the, the links in the description. Check Racer, W Energy Drink, and of course, Amar Paintwork. Uh, except for Amar. We don't have an, uh, a, a link for Amar yet. We're going to find one. All right, but look him up on, on uh, Facebook and whatnot. So, Amar Paintwork. A nice pretty party to, to break and tear up. Yeah, he, he's definitely a man to call. And uh, 58 to Ryan Rose. Yeah, a little skipper. Skippity doo dah. He's, uh, he's flirting with some disasters. All. That's what he's Oh, and, uh, and of course, Starling Foes. Got, got it, got it. Just, just loving Starlink right now. They are doing just some awesome work out there. Getting us more and more satellites. Oh, uh, how about that? I love that. Like, no, but honestly, it's a it, good, it's an awesome system. They're, uh, it's getting better and better every single uh, month, every single year. More and more satellites keep going up. I got a lot of rocket launches right out here on my, my, my spot. And uh, yeah, the bad can to watch them go up and see this whole technology explode right in front of us. Then of course they did the kind of the famous rocket. Good job to them getting the uh, starship up in the home for Back at her as we are coming in to four laps left remaining of tonight's race. We do have the 58 uh, Brian Rose leading the way there. Derek Wynn in that uh, P3. Tyler Honeycutt, fourth position. All these guys are kind of strung out right now, so poor little analogy. Um, we'll spread apart, there we go. All these guys are spread apart right now. Uh, anyways, the sixth of Kyle Wellman is in that sixth third over. He's in the sixth position for the 42 of Kyle Wellman. And uh, he's holding strong along with the Raymond Arduino. Which is now going to be. Yes! All right, I was hoping this was going to happen. Here we go! Uh, Rowan. He started up inside the top 10. Had himself nice little yada yadders in the beginning. Now been clawing his way up. And we've kind of following his progress, actually. Kind of on our uh, radar. He's been driving the wheels off this thing, no doubt. Uh, he's trying to gain as much diving ground as he can. We're going to be getting it on fire. It's crazy, you know? It's, so, uh, I'm waiting for it to happen again. I'm not happen again, but wait for it not to buy it again. There we go. As, he, as he's reeled in, the, the 87 of Hardino one more time. This is going to be good. Come on, Tim. Let's see you. Now that 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 there's that love of that 10 car, it's gonna put that pressure. Racing in and look for another braking zone. Spool it back up. Four laps left in tonight's race, folks. And of course, if you like to take uh, a quick moment and some time to shout out to everyone who's tuned in and watches the broadcast and watch all the races and stuff, so we really appreciate all the support. There is that button.
button down there. More than happy to, to, to push that thing. Don't worry, nothing's gonna happen. I didn't I didn't booby trap it or nothing. Okay, it's not gonna blow up, not like that. But it just gonna let you go if you want uh, when we uh, when we're on. So we're gonna so we do, we normally do pretty quick get ins into these races if y'all haven't noticed. So that, that that notification might come in handy if you if you are trying to tune into listen to this lunatic with this you know, go over this awesome race. But uh, yeah, yeah, we'd be stoked to have you anytime and every time, folks. So as I like to say during the summertime, I'm stoked to have you. Come on. I love these now this these S's. They don't look like much, but I think they may be one of the biggest bears of this crop, at least one of them. Um, is it, it's all downhill. So this car just wants to push up pretty good every turn. And if you barely get the gas too much, and we're talking just 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 I let all hair, and, you, know, whoop, you know, or you're pushing out or whatnot, you 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 definitely miss the front. We're gonna go down here with some more speed. Yeah, let's loop it up. I love it. Uh, this part's great right here. It's like if you almost go fast enough, you take it. But then, you know, then you're up here, just kind of up, just then you're down, and then you're all around. I love it. Tyler Honeycutt just getting in. That's definitely some Rip Van Nasty right there. This guy has just been super solid throughout the entirety of the race. He's dropped the drink. He hasn't the making the right calls, judging out his game now, you know, thinning off that uh, those attacks by the 926. And don't get me wrong, look, he's right there. 926 now, now he's pushing it. He knows it's late, he knows it's time to go got two laps left he's gonna have to throw everything at it and it does not look like now that ryan rose is going to uh, make a mistake it looks like his dance is locked in and uh he's got that uh perfect rhythm see the uh, you know, smoke there on the 1906 means that he is definitely giving her all she's got captain but we'll see if all is enough See, that guy just likes to throw the freaking tail loose right there. Gets her to turn. Gets her to stick. Go, 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 go. Ryan. Dominating performance. Garrett, smart plays on, on his end as well, though. Getting some of those stage points. Being right there on his bumper. Just hoping for any kind of missed out mistake. And uh, now it looks like you know Garrett's the one who's going to be in trouble here. He's going to want to. Who's going to have to push it? And that is going to open it, open up a door for a mistake. It looks like all the lap traffic is very um, well notified when it comes to giving room for these race leaders. One of awareness on track. He's going to take it high. He can go low, 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 low. Locks him up. Oh, that's going to hurt. Almost hurt, hurt him more than that. He's almost into the 20 right there. Or not the 20, but whatever. 38. Nixon, But, uh, yeah, we got, but still, getting pushing everything he can to get out of this car and Ryan Rose now he's just he's continuing his march. Uh oh. Kyle Wellman. Oh so yeah, he did get past Ardina 
of there. He got himself a claw or a shovel and dug pretty hard there. Island at sixth position though and uh, in danger possibly of going uh, lap or downs. Maybe, maybe not. Ryan Rose now, here we go. Final lap, folks, of tonight's race. Here we go. Ryan Rose leading the way. Do a quick look through the field as we got right right there. Garrett in P2, Derek went in the third. Tyler uh, fourth, and Carl in the fifth position. It's a top five right now, but everybody is chasing this man right here. Good, awesome battle for Front Row Esports in their 2024 series here at Kona. Especially beginning of this day, all kinds of, of action to watch. Good action, clean action. So, uh, again, if you're in late and missed that, make sure you, you rewind it, folks. It was, it was a good one, guaranteed. Right now, you got Ryan Rose leading the way, been leading the way. Got himself stage one win, didn't get stage two. Out, got, a, got a little out box. how those those ones slip through right now we still got the 58 leading the way last lap stretch it out just a little bit see where he's at like I'm halfway home baby It's a good dig off that turn every time. Love it. Good job. Checkered flag. Wow! Yeah! Of course he pushes it there. Didn't get our attention. Boom! Takes it. 50. Uh, we're going to go to the 58. 96. And Garrett Wilde's going to go uh, get that second position. And rounding out your podium is going to be Garrett Wynn. He's a. Uh, Crosses out the boom. Derek Wynn gets out of that third position round at your top five. Tyler Honeycutt and Carl Lindstrom. Oop, almost. Sorry. They're still, they're still duking it out here. So. It's, anything can happen on this last lap, folks. This battle's tight right here. The fourth and fifth position. That's Tyler and there's Carl. Could be a last minute deal. Possibility. Negative. All right, Mr. Rose here. Guys are bringing it back around track. It's gonna be burnout time for him. But if you're looking at this, oh yeah, so our, our end results yet to be had. Official results yet to be had. But there's your uh, your top two right there. Class of the field tonight is gonna to be the 58 and 1960. He got himself pretty much uh, most laps led tonight. Oh, you definitely got most laps led. Almost all. Almost all that. But Garrett, Garrett out Fox in there a few times, especially when they, when it mattered and that uh, pit strategies and when to pit and when not to to get those stage points. So they'll bring Jerome in that P2. It's going to be a good run for these guys. the line and get it squared away on a rope course. Dang it, 
right, here we go. Official results, folks. Ryan Rose, your winner. And then, of course, you got Gary Wiles in the second. Third is uh, Derek Wynn. Uh, and fourth, Tyler Honeycutt, Carl Lynch in the fifth position. Kyle Wellman in the sixth. Roland Glick in the seventh position. Raymond Hart in the eighth seven. Uh, eighth position. Ninth is Miller in the sixth. Got uh, tenth. Ron Hart in the top three. Jason Bauer in the ninth. Got uh, Reeves in the 33 in that 11th position. Big burnouts going down behind us. I do see the rest of your field right here. Some laps down there. Philip Molex, Jeff Connor, um, Larry Bell finishing her up. Brody Mir, Tom Freeman, Hunter the Goon. And that winds out the show. Ice. So we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a hold of some winners here, folks. Stick with us here as we're just waiting for our uh, race. We're just going to get down and get finished up here. All right, let's go with... Our race winner, Mr. Ryan Rose. Let's see what we got him here. All right, all right, here we go. Mr. Ryan Rose. You got a copy? You got Chris Wyman's here in the booth. Heck yeah, my man. There you are. Dude, Kale's Peaches all day long. Let's make sure we got sound and stuff before we get to rolling in this, in this thing, my man. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, th that was one heck of a run. Heck of a good run. Okay, now you're a little low. I can't hear you too well. Yeah, we got you now. There you is. There you is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there you are. Okay. Uh, man, dude, Ryan, what an awesome run for you tonight here at 58. You got to did a nice little, a little put the smoke, smoking on the on the field. So uh, oh, yeah. give us a rundown on what happened out there, my man. P1. They've been supporting me for years, so it's been really fun. And uh, yeah, it's been—it's just being consistent, really. That's all it needed to be, making like as little mistakes as I could. Yeah. I mean, and honestly, you didn't. You look—you look solid out there on and off pit road, and you were able. Now you got stage one win. Looked like Garrett got stage two, and cycling it out. So pretty, pretty smart there. And uh, but man, but you—that's what happened though. He was on your bumper, and you—it's like you never looked back. You, you, weren't, yeah. you weren't worried about that. I, I was I was a little bit worried because he, he's he was pretty fast, faster than I expected. But um, yeah, I'm usually really good on these uh, next gen cars with the uh, road courses. So yeah. Oh, and you Go worked tonight, my man. And Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Sorry, make sure, <laughs> make sure my, my sound is all good. But uh, yeah, dude, you did fantastic work tonight. And I want to give you a huge shout out. And, uh, and of course, uh, good congratulations on that 58 run. Thank you. You got it, my man. And uh, hey, so what, are you ready for next week? You got any big plans for it? Or is just me business as normal with, uh, with Ghost? Just, just business as normal. Just trying to get as uh, many points as we can. Many of us in the championship run. Absolutely. Well, you, well you, did a, you did a fine job tonight, my man. So congratulations to getting the points and that P1. All right. Thank you. You got it, bro. All right. Let's go ahead and bring on up our P2. Garrett, you got a copy. You got Chris Wallen here in the booth. Yeah, I got you, Chris. Man. No, so you, uh, yeah, let me check down again. He, he was low. Okay, yeah, 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 I got you. All right. So, dude, you had yourself an impressive run. Did some Fox in there to get yourself a stage win. Give us a rundown to your uh, your programs this evening. 
Um, you know, I, to be honest with you, I didn't know I had I won a stage because I didn't remember what the stages were. I just was going. Um, car felt really good. I didn't take tires all night long, um, and they held. I mean, I was able to run some quick laps at the end. Um, I just lapped traffic. Um, all in all, my race I, I felt was really good. It just if I could just get around the lap traffic the way. Ryan did, I would have been right there with them. I, every time I catch up to him, the lap car would get right in the way and run around on the main line. And But it is what it is. It's part of racing. Yeah, absolutely. And again, but you did, you were fantastic. You kept the pressure on him the whole time, dude. The whole time. You're right there. So it's like he couldn't screw up. Not one little bit, you know? And that's what, that's what my game plan was. Yeah, and you performed that game plan superbly, my man. I appreciate that. There was one time I got on the inside of him. Um, I locked him up just a little bit, drifted up, and we made contact. I didn't want to take the lead that way, so I let him back by. Kind of regret that now, but all in all, I mean, it, it, was, it was good. I, me and him were racing really good, really clean. Um, he, I, before he came up here, me and him were talking. And I'm glad I was able to keep put pressure on him because he, he said he, he was getting there and feeling it. So. I'm happy for it. Heck yeah, heck yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you got to be stoked, man. You had a good a good week this week. You got third last night. You got second tonight. So, I'm thinking next week, what, P1, right? It's in your future. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Richmond's not a great, great, great track for me. So, we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm looking forward and more towards walking to Glen for sure and a uh, and, uh, little bit of Detroit. Okay. Okay. Like it. Like it a lot. Well, congratulations on that P2 tonight, man. Fantastic points run for you. And keep up that good work. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, good points for sure, especially with my teammate for the Team Point Series. Derek with being my teammate and finishing 2-3. Kind of works out really well. Did pretty well. That's how you did. Trust me, you, you, you look real good out there, bro. Can't wait for you to go back and check it out. I appreciate it very much. You got it on that. Have a good, have a good evening, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Yep, yep. I appreciate it, Chris. We'll see you later. Yeah, bro. My last, last uh, soldier standing here, Derek winning the 11. Derek, you got copy. Yes, sir. All right, so our previous uh, uh, pulling your champion, you know, champion here for 2023, got yourself that uh, P3 tonight. How'd your car fill out there, my man? Looked like you were you were handling it pretty good. Yeah, we just, we never got the brakes dialed in just right, so it we're a little bit off of what we wanted to be, but. It was, it was a good point today, nonetheless. Oh, absolutely. And, and you, you, had a, you had a call up pretty good. Where was your starting position again? Uh, I started fourth. Oh, fourth. Okay, so, so you did good. You just kept right there where you needed to be inside that top five and uh, ran a good race. Now. Fantastic work. And again, points, right? Yep, yep. It's all about them points. Thank you. And, and how are you, uh, how are you looking for next week there, my man? Uh, what Richmond. is next week? Richmond. Richmond? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty good at Richmond. I'm, I'm comfortable there. That's one of my better ovals, I feel like. So. Nice, nice. Well, good. We're looking forward to it, man, because you got, you got a belt to defend, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's 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 why we're here. <laughs> yeah, my man. You're doing a good job, dude. Seriously. So, congratulations to you on that third position. And, uh, man, let's see you, let's see you keep racking up some points. Yes, sir. You got it, All right, see you soon. All right. There you go. So quick, simple, and easy. Love it, folks. We're going to go ahead and get out of here again. I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in tonight's broadcast. Front Row East for getting her down over here at Coda and then Cup Cars, man. Yeah, it's a good race. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to going back over to get myself. But uh, again, big thanks to everyone again for showing up for tonight's race. Of course, uh, you know, big shout out to all of our sponsors Moza Racing, Trek Racer, WNG Drink, and Mar Paintworks. With, of course, uh, Charlie on top, uh, Starlink, for bringing this thing to us live. I'm Chris Paul Amos, and we out of here, folks. Till next time, stay tuned. We'll see you soon.